hey, I haven't checked in for three days on the 30 day challenge. So those people who committed, I need to check in so you guys can tell me how you've been doing. But in the meantime, um, let me show you all these different projects I'm working on and you can see some of this stuff I'm juggling that tries to fill up my day. Uh, I really need like 17 more days in each week so that I can get this stuff done, but let's see. This is the area where I was doing glass fusing in this little microwave right here with this microwave kiln and also candle making at one point. And now it's just a total mess. And so I need to clean this. The maintenance guy is supposed to be putting these new tiles in now that the leak was fixed in the ceiling. But he's doing like one tile a week, so he must really like to spread his jobs out even more than me. I want to move everything on these shelves to the front rooms. I want to take all these 2x4s in wood and build this big structure. This is the room where all my power tools were. Now it's, again, like everything else, turning into a mess. But this room is too small anyway. So I'm going to try to convert this room into like an office slash rest area because it's actually, it doesn't, you wouldn't believe it, but it's actually one of the nicer rooms in that it has the least torn up stuff and it's completely enclosed with a nice light switch and a lot of nice outlets. So I want to move all my power tools to this room where the floor started breaking up and the more I tried to get to the end of the break it just kept breaking up so I just took a shovel and started breaking it up and so once I get all the old broken tiles up, thrown in the garbage, taken out, then I want to reconcrete the floor and um, then this area is where I want to put the power tools so that there's a lot more space, there's much higher ceiling so it's possible to do a lot of work without um, being so confined, which is dangerous when you're using power tools. You don't want to have, you know, walls and stuff constricting you, so you accidentally move something a wrong, a wrong way when you have a high-powered blade spinning. And then there's more wood here, and here's coming out into the main room. These are all the organized, disorganized stuff I want to reorganize for the kits making. Here's the front room where I was doing the live shows, but I mean front room, the front desk area. I just am in, in love with folding tables. Here's my ridiculous laptop and some water and some napkins where I had lunch. Um, this is where I just opened up all the Michael stuff that I'm still going through. And then this was where I'm starting to build a structure that is going to be, I think, a three-dimensional structure that has all kinds of little workout things on it. I'm trying to make my own home gym, so I'm going at it a very weird way. And so these are all the projects I'm working on right now. Um, and then I want to start getting back into painting. So I want to do a lot of painting. This area right here, once it gets cleared out, look at all these boxes from shows, from those long shows. The ones that didn't up, end up selling, usually we'd sell like anywhere from all of them to half of them, somewhere in there. The ones that didn't end up selling, we'd take out the jewelry and put it into new kit, new things for the next show. But anyway, um, I really love these shelves. They're like from Amazon for like 40 bucks. They click together like Legos so helpful so I got tons of them but anyway there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done here and I just had some I had moved some staff around I lost a staff member I had another staff member commit to new hours so hopefully we're gonna get a lot of this stuff cleaned and organized but at least this front room here where you can actually see in with the glass is all painted and ready to go. So we can put up all these paintings because we have all of this wall space and desk space. Anyway. Oh, and I wanna get this awful red, white, and blue painted over so the last vestiges of it looking like 
a post office will be gone. But in any case, those are all the projects we're working on. And believe it or not, even though everything might look super messy, there's a lot of functional spaces here, but I'm now committing to all these different redesigns. And now that I have the funds, because we did all this fundraisers, thanks to all of you guys buying the half price necklaces and stuff, we can get a kiln in here. We can get a pottery wheel, some clay, some glaze, get a whole pottery section going and we can get back into painting and do all kinds of fun art. We'll keep doing the jewelry, don't worry. So you guys, um, hopefully see you in some new videos and please tell me how you were doing in your 30 day challenge. See you soon, hopefully.